What's up guys, this is Eddie Julius Milnes from FirstDropShow.com. I'm here with Lloyd and we're going to be interviewing people about people sagging their pants. Now let's go. I just don't like it, yeah. It's, I don't know what's the, the point to show their butt to everybody. And they are hurting themselves also. I'm a massage therapist and when they walk like that, it's just not natural for your hips. <laughs> Do, is it like going to involve, like people are going to be like walking like this from now on? <laughs> I would it's not just, like that feeling. It's not comfortable. I don't, yeah. I don't like it. I'm from the South, and we don't like that. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't date a man that did it. I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it feels pretty cool. It feels pretty cool? Yeah. Because I'm from Pennsylvania. Right. Yeah. So you think it's just a New York sense of style? Yeah. It's a poor fashion statement, if, if anything. It's not, it's nothing. It's just nothing. It's like, sir, sir, you ran out of the bathroom too fast. Like, you need to slow down and pull your pants back up. Bro. Oh, I, I don't like seeing it, personally. It's supposed to be under something. It's the quickest way to get laid. In public. I mean, it means that a person obviously doesn't know their own waist size. So, so funny. It, it also looks so desperate. Like, seriously. I think it's like just sloppy. I mean, I'm not like offended by it, but like if I see it, I just think it's like, it will like pull your pants up. I agree. I, I think agree. it's kind of sloppy, I but I don't mind. I think that people should be able to wear whatever they want. I don't know. That's that's a trend that's been around for a long time. I guess I uh, I feel like I've got I've gotten so used to it now that I don't even. I think that I think that style is ridiculous. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. I don't know what they think and then what we're around them. I saw this guy with boxers that says "Ruffin' Around" with little hearts on them. That's <laughs> cute. I just feel like you must have to do the weirdest. I don't know. Is that how why is that off. why these people walk? In such a strange I mean, like, way, like they have such a weird like swagger, they, they're trying they to They tend keep to walk pants. like penguins, I guess. Yeah, exactly. They have to, they have to do the penguin walk, so they, <laughs> it's the only way to keep your pants from not falling past you. What's sagging smell about backwards? I just like, I don't want to see it fall down further. Yeah. So it's like, I've, uh, no, and I've seen it. I have, I have seen it happen before. And they're, they're just, it, I, apparently, it's a really routine thing. They just kind of yank it back up and keep going, like it's like nothing. I mean, it's just one of those things that, you know, happens in style and whatever, but it is what it is. It's New York City. Yeah. Well, I believe an individual who sags their pants is ignorant. Not ignorant in the sense that they don't know what's going on, but they're uneducated. I mean, like, I do it sometimes, but um, not no more. Not basically not no more, because since they say that it's gay, I stopped doing it. So, uh, that's it. As a concept, it's not bad, but when people do it to try and play serious, I think it's kind of dumb. Well, it's very immature. I don't agree with it at all. For example, let's say if I was a father, right? I'm going to McDonald's, and let's say I have my seven-year-old daughter. I'm, on, I'm in line, and this guy's in front of me with his pants tagging down. My daughter doesn't have to see that. You know, that's really disrespectful to, to society, and me, my daughter, everyone around, and you're degrading yourself. Yeah, doesn't it come from uh, jail because they don't let you have belts and so it's like a weapon. So people in jail, um, they like make them, like their pants are always tight because they can't have belts. And then like when people get out of jail, like they take that trend with them. From originated from, I think it's a, I don't know, it's an attempt to say fuck you to white people. <laughs> I think like not, not specifically just like white people, but people in power, you know? It's, it's probably stemmed from some like minority group that, you know, didn't have a lot of money, so they wore baggy pants, you know? And eventually it kind of came to the point where it's like, it's like being a Yankee, you know? Like, it's like, initially, Yankee was a bad term, you know? So it's like, wearing your pants and saggy, it's supposed to be like, I know, it's like, this is where I'm from, like, fuck you, you know? So. That's a very good question. How long do we think it will last? I mean, that's because it's obviously tied into a lot of other things. It's, I feel like it, my, and I don't profess to be an expert on it, but I think it's it's, it's tied into um, uh, gangster culture and prison culture. And so long as that is sort of glorified and glamorized in the eyes of a lot of people, I think it's going to perpetuate. God knows how long that's going to keep going. Hopefully not. It's never.
Um, I guess until people stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over. You think it's over? Alright you guys, thanks for watching and tune in for our next video.